Check, check, you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, rightsgangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right? Hold on, I got a call, I got a call. Hold on, yo. Hey, dog, what up? Fonz joined in WX, you heard about that shit? Fonz joined what? Yeah, Fonz joined in WX. He joined the Nets? I know. The Nets? No, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Fonz joined who? Fonz joined what? Oh, hell no. See? This is the, this is what I be talking about. Fudge on who? Wait, wait, who, who authorized this? Who allowed it? Who allowed funds to join the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it breathe. Salute to Fonz and everything that he's got going on personally and professionally as a battle rapper. Fonz has now joined the NW Nets. The NW Nets. These, these, this is what they, they don't even need no more help. They got everybody. Niggas got T Top and fucking DNA. King Sean. Yo, they already got it. What, 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 what are we doing here? But uh, all jokes aside, salute to Fonz. Um, Fonz had a remarkable performance and one of the best two on twos that I've seen in recent memory versus um, him and Av versus Lou Castro and um, K. Shine. Uh, they went hard, they did they motherfucking thing. That was a good, 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 good two on two. So to see Fonz join NWX, I will say this. Uh, a lot of people don't understand. I've seen this question asked more than once, right? And that picture of Fonz, that's not me, that's Fonz, you know what I'm saying? Like I. I, I can't join a battle rap crew. I'm in Rice Gang, you know what I'm saying? That would be biased as hell. I've heard I've heard I was in crew. I'm not in no crew. But anyway, check this out. So, um, it's crazy how you when you think of it from the perspective of him joining NWX, what does they say what does battle rap crews do for you? What do battle rap crews do for you? It does a lot because they will help you get booked. Like you will get booked faster in NWX than you will on your own. And I know he's talented, but I've seen other MCs and crews get just because of their affiliation get booked over, oh, 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 over and over again. Some niggas be winning, some niggas don't even win. But it's all about the affiliation. See who you see what you know gets you there. Who you know keeps you there. And don't get mad at me, y'all know the slogan, hate the truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth. So I'm just speaking from my perspective. Um, but Fonz is dope. Fonz has came up. Fonz has stayed true to himself. He won the 25 bands, uh, and now he's doing the dope two on two with uh, Av, and now he's joining. And that's a good thing because he wanted to battle K Shine, but now he's got that that that. Even though it was a two on two, to me it still counts as wreck. So him and K Shine already had some wreck. So. It doesn't take away from that. It does take away from a lot of the other battles with NWX members that he could have had, like a T-Top, like a DNA, uh, and, and shit like that, shit like that. But I don't think, I think the benefits and what he gains are more than what his potential loss would be in that situation. But it's good for him though, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I like seeing people start making moves and doing big things, especially when you in a crew like NWX, they gonna push that pen, you gonna have a good squad behind you. Like they even they've helped out a lot of their own. Like you've seen Don Marino has got way better. You know what I'm saying? Like he was already cool, but he got way better. Uh, you know he was just in the two on two with DNA. So the, I think the positives outweigh the negatives. They're the most consistent team, and they've been doing it for quite a while. The only person that really didn't work out with the NWX situation was as far as like battle rappers. You know you've seen Saga come and go, but with Twerk. Twerk's twerk. He gonna march to the beat of his own drum. The crew thing is not really, you know what I'm saying, conducive to what he does. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, there's no accountability? No, no, no. You're not gonna be able to hold him. A crew is not gonna be able to hold him accountable. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that'll probably keep him focused is money. So it's the accounts ability. Accountability, not the account. Bow! Headshot. Accountability. So whatever is in his account is gonna be a way to keep him focused. But for Fonz, like I said, the growth and continued development and staying focused is what's going to be good for him. Uh, I think that he should start 
get in some bigger names. He should start getting on some bigger cards. He already had that wreck with Av. That was a dope battle. But it's time, it's time for Fonz to be seen. It is definitely time for Fonz to be seen. Dot vs. Your Honor finally dropped. I will be recapping that with my man Showtime SP. He wanted to watch it more than once. It's a very good battle. I will talk about that. Do not think that we are not going to talk about Dot versus Your Honor. Fire battle. K Shine, Hollow the Don, start trading jabs, going back and forth. Uh, Hollow the Don puts up a tweet and says, Little man been asking for this for a few years. He's doing his thing. Much respect to him. But I am a cyborg. Basically, he put up a picture, you know what I'm saying? I just put the picture up, you know, and the words don't be, my, my autofocus don't be autofocused sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't got, y'all niggas see it. So he basically said that. And then K Shine repl replied, I know you different. I am too. That's what you don't know. So uh, I've been wanting to see K-Shine versus Hollow the Don for a little minute. Um, K-Shine's coming off of his performance in the 2 on 2 with Lou Castro. He definitely got back in his bag. And he said he was. Refrigerator magnet. I'm going to stick to my bananas. That was crazy. He, he, was, he was definitely dancing again. It was good to see K-Shine back in his K-Shine bag. You know what I'm saying? Like when you take a loss sometimes in a battle or in life. That could do some shit to your confidence, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he definitely, um, he, he, he <laughs> listen, <laughs> I feel sorry for the next person that steps in front of K-Shine playing around. If you step in front of K-Shine and you playing around, you're going to fuck around and get 30. Like he's going to, he's done it before. We act like K-Shine ain't 30 mad people. I could go through a list of names of niggas that he broke all the way down. See, the thing is with Chilla Jones. Chilla Jones was just a phenomenal writer, and I thought in a volume setting it wasn't the best matchup for his skill set. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's able to have impactful moments, he has punches, he has great energy, but Chilla Jones just has a pen that's so layered, and he can use punch after punch after line after scheme. But I don't know, that's a story, another story for another day. Uh, K Shine is back in his motherfucking bag. But as far as Fonz, I think that's a dope ass free agent pickup from the rookies, you know what I'm saying? Like, Fonz was one of those guys that, even though he won the tournament, even though he won the tournament, there's other rookies who are getting bigger looks, bigger names, and some, you know, like some haven't joined teams, some have, but at the same time, everybody's path is not the same as long as, you know, you get to your set destination, and I think that it's a good thing to get a look put on him, because now people can start talking about fun. Because he got the skill, and he is nice. It's just he ain't got that push like that. Like, you need to start seeing him getting some names. Like, he needs to see the JCs. He needs to see the rum nitties. He ain't even battle shot. He ain't even fucking battle shot. Couldn't shoot again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he needs to start seeing the Jerry Wests of the world and some more. Now, I could just keep on going. He's not getting the bat. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe niggas say, yo, we gave you 25 beds, B. We ain't got to eat. Niggas ain't eating, B. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I don't know. But, I think it's a win for Cleveland. I've always been a, a huge fan and supporter of what Fonz does. And seeing him come off that 2-on-2 two -two with Av battle. 2-on-2 two -two with Av. Like, there was no weak link in that. Out of all four sides involved. Kayshawn, Luke Castro, uh, Av, or Fonz. There was no weak links. The 2-on-2 two two has a lot of replay value. Um, them guys are going to be them guys are going to be them guys. Luke Castro is one of them ones. And once the big rooms come back, you're going to really see how much, how how crazy one of them ones Luke Castro is also. But uh, other than that, um, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. I uh, appreciate everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. I tell y'all that all the time because I sincerely mean it. Um, salute to Showtime SP. We will be recapping Dot versus Your Honor. I mean, it's only right. There's no way that we should ask for a battle for all this fucking time and then the battle drops and we don't even talk about it. Like, that is not going to work. That will not work. Um, last night, I seen people trying to blame Cal for what happened. I didn't really think it was, I don't have nothing to blame you. I, I, unless I missed something, what was he doing that really, like, I seen what Mook was doing. Everybody been talking about that shit forever. Um, I don't, what did Cal do? 
I, I, I'm lost. Did he do some? Did he partake in the talking through the rounds? I don't know. But we got to hold everybody to the same standard. Battle rappers know they shouldn't be talking through motherfuckers' rounds. But it is what it is at this point. The battle's over. Shit, life goes on. Like, for real, who we, we, we going to do? We're not going to sit there and try to down these motherfuckers forever. But it is what it is. Other than that, salute to the subscribe. Fine, motherfucking NWS. God damn, this team is strong. The new they the NW Nets for now on. I'm out.